everyone welcome back if you do not know my name is deb and here on my channel i cover all things beauty that includes makeup fragrance and design here and there if you think that is something you'll be interested in then i hope you stay and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when i upload and in today's video we are starting off the year with a brand new fragrance release from the house of mark jacobs and this is daisy love pop yes y'all this is a brand new fragrance to the market so if you have my thoughts and first impressions on this brand new fragrance then just keep watching all right y'all so before we get into the fragrance i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel who has been supporting me i appreciate you guys so so much um january is my birthday month and i am hoping i can get to 2500 subscribers by the end of the month so me i would greatly appreciate you guys sharing my video comment and subscribe me um so you yeah. go ahead and talk about this fragrance now what i will say is i have already did a sniff on this fragrance um recently i went into a macy's before it was like released online um some people were finding it in in macy's and dillard's i went to macy's i had them spray it on a tester paper and i walked around with it and, and smelt it but i couldn't really get a true true test because i had never worn it on the skin so when i seen it came recently in stock on ulta i decided to pick it up from there because they also had a free gift with purchase just pulled the tape off the paper off because i don't want to hear like the crackling i don't know if you guys like that so i just took it out so what i will say is the packaging on mark jacobs bottles are so beautiful right especially this one this is a really really beautiful matte pink um in this collection it did come out with two other fragrances so it's three all together i will pop them on the screen but this is the one that i chose now what i will say is i don't think i own any mark jacobs in my collection at all i am not really a big floral girl i have had like the original daisy back in the day like a long time ago um i enjoyed that but honestly i don't really go for those like really really florally fragrances so i don't really ever go for mark jacobs um haven't in years but when i seen the scent notes in here i was like i'm probably gonna like this i'm going to go ahead and pick it up so the scent notes in here are a cloudberry bergamot pistachio whipped cream benzoin and musk and we love anything with pistachio and whipped cream in here so this is supposed to lean a little bit more gourmand than most mark jacob fragrances so that is the reason why i picked it up and also this bottle is so pretty now what i will say is i did smell one of the other mark jacobs like in this line in the store and i thought it smelled really really pretty um again they are a little bit more florally so if you like that obviously you will like mark jacobs i feel like mark jacobs is a really girly girl type fragrance um and it's really really pretty but again i just don't own any of the mark jacobs so I love this so I am going to take the cap off and we are going to spray her on a tester strip and then we will also spray her on my skin so yeah I immediately get a really really sweet fruity scent very very sweet I get some type of like sweet berries or sweet fruits kind of like the same DNA of, you know, a lot of the Marc Jacobs fragrances. But then I get this really nice creaminess in here. I get a like a hint of that pistachio. So I am gonna spray this one on my hand because I haven't sprayed it on my skin. Okay. Mmm, it smells so pretty. It smells so sweet and yummy. I have seen some people say that they felt like this didn't differ too far from like the Marc Jacobs DNA and I get that. I mean, it's Marc Jacobs and they, that they're known for very florally sweet fruity scents. But this one is slightly different. I get this really pretty creaminess in here. And even though it still has a bit of like that fruitiness in the background, it's something really sweet in here. 
but in like the best, best way. So in the opening, it's definitely very, very sweet and fruity like, definitely. I know a lot of Marc Jacobs fragrances are fruity and they also are very, very floral. I don't feel like this one is like overly floral. I don't think this smells quite like the Marc Jacobs daisies that most of us are used to, but in a good way. I get this really, really sweet creaminess in here. I get a hint of that pistachio, but I feel like it's not like a full blown pistachio fragrance. I just think the pistachio just helps it, warms it up a little bit more and make it a little bit more gourmand, but it's not like super heavy pistachio, right? But, but I do get this like whipped creaminess from it. It's actually really, really pretty. I definitely feel like this leans slightly more gourmand than anything Marc Jacobs has ever done. But it might not be as gourmand as most people want it to be or think it's going to be. Now, looking at Fragrantica, right? It says the main accords are vanilla, amber, sweet, fruity, woody, or aromatic, citrus, lactonic, nutty, and warm, spicy. I like this. What I will say is I don't have any reference points of what the Daisy Love DNA smells like. I don't really remember what that one smells like because I don't own any. I cannot say that this is like, I can't say how far off of this flanker is than that, but I will say it's pretty. I will say it's pretty. It's very fruity. It's very, very sweet, like super, super sweet. Um, and it is really nice and creamy. Now, is this like, I don't think this is heavy gourmand. I do think it has a gourmand tinge to it. Like it can slightly roll into that family. But for the gourmands that we have and that we love, like the people that know they really are into gourmands, I don't feel like this is that, okay? But it's super, super pretty. It's one I definitely want to keep. It's one I definitely will wear. And I just like it. I feel like I smell a lot of the pistachio smelling it out of the nozzle. But yeah, I like this one. You know, just so you guys are aware, these first impressions that I do are not thorough reviews, okay? That is why they are called first impressions. They are just my initial thoughts. I will have to wear this one more um, and give it some time to see how I actually feel about these. Now, what I normally do is if I get a new fragrance, right? For those that don't know, if I do get a new fragrance sometime within a month and I do decide to do a first impressions, I usually include that fragrance at the end of the month in a like fragrance recap of what I bought. That is when I will probably tell you guys more on like the wear time of this, my you know initial thoughts after wearing it a few times and things of that nature. But this is just my first thoughts. So to do a recap and a roundup, right? I like this fragrance. I like it a lot. The beautiful packaging does not help. Like I, I think if you are a collector, you probably want to have this in your collection. And like I said, it is um, two other fragrances in this collection. So it's three all together. All the bottles are in this beautiful matte pink packaging. It's so gorgeous. This is one of the prettiest packaging Marc Jacobs has done in a long time even with it being super simplistic. Some people might think it is very childlike because of the ginormous flower on here, but I just think it's very, very beautiful. It's very youthful. Um, as far as the fragrance, I like it. I'm going to keep it and continue to wear it. Um, I do feel like this is one um, I would probably wear a little bit more in the spring. Yes, it is supposed to be a little bit more of a gourmand and I do get that tinge to it. It does have some very like delicious, creamy notes in here. And I feel like I get like that, but I feel like it's super fruity to me. Like it's still really, really fruity. It's not overly like delicious like heavy vanilla even though they're saying it's vanilla like i don't get that but again a first impression so 
I absolutely love this one. I will be wearing it a little bit more. It's not going to be on my January perfume tray, which is already up, by the way. So if you have not checked that out, check that out, please. Um, it's not going to be on my January tray, but I will incorporate this in the month of January wearing it to see how I like it. And then from there, I will probably bring it back at a later date and put it on my tray. But right now, I mean, I think this could go for right now because where I'm at in like the 60s and it is sunny. So I feel like it's not super, super cold out, but it's not super, super warm either. And I feel like this is not a bad time frame of which to be wearing this fragrance. So like I said, I'll be keeping it and I will be trying it out for the month of January. So stay tuned if you want a more in-depth review and also i might come back and you know change up some things in the description box on how i feel about this um but yeah you know if you guys pick this up or if you have smelt it or if you are interested in it um i am so curious as to see who is going to be picking this fragrance up so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye